If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. How's it going everyone? Welcome to a crazy video. This is the first time I've ever, I think I've ever done a center back as a striker, but his card comes out as a striker. Van Dyke, guys, one of the best center backs in the game. In, in FIFA 19, one of the best center backs, one of the best players, one of the most meta players that you can have in your squad is now a center back is now a center back. It's now a striker, guys, in FIFA 19. This foot birthday promo is actually insane. Literally insane, guys. The, the, the sort of players that EA have put in here is such a nice selection of players. Crazy position change cards, like Salah is at left back. We have a striker build. Douglas Costa as center attack in mid. That's going to be an amazing player because as a left mid, he was one of the better wingers in the Serie A. Now you have him as a center attack in mid. He's going to be insane, and that's definitely one of the players I'm looking to purchase. Now, Van Dyke guy's striker card, you could literally move him down to a central defensive mid, but that's no fun. Let's try him out as his natural position out packs, and that is a striker. Also, guys, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap PC games. So, Van Dyke, we've decided to put on the engine chemistry style, 85 pace, 87 shooting, 70 passing, 78 dribbling, 88 defending, 93 physical. This guy wins a lot of balls in the air, and he's going to be a huge aerial threat up front. Let's see how he plays. Let's see his in-game stats, guys. So, we did purchase him for 1.2 million, guys. Six foot four player, medium medium work rates, three uh, three star weak foot, two star skill moves. So you're kind of limited already of what you can do with him. As a striker, would you really put him up there? We'll see in this video. But three-star weak foot really limits you up front. But the heading with this Van Dyke is absolutely crazy because if you have him as a centre-back, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, especially from corners. Now, we do have 85 pace on him. Uh, sorry, 85 acceleration. Um, his sprint speed is 94. Uh, shooting stats are not that great. Look at that, 75 finishing. This guy's got more composure than most strikers, most flashbacks as well. It's weird. 99 shot power, 92 long shots. Insane. 89 penalties. Passing stats are actually quite crap. 61 vision, 55 crossing. His free kicks are 83. So we're definitely going to be trying to take some free kicks with him. Also, passing stats are actually th decent. Look, 91 long passing. I think he's one of the um, rare players that you'll find that has better long passing than short passing. Then you look at his agility is really low and he is six foot four. So turning with him can be quite bad, but he is insanely strong. Look, 99 strength and 89 aggression. Who the hell is going to push this guy off? 92 reactions, 81 ball control, 78 dribbling, 92 composure. Look at his defending stats. 88 interceptions, 84 heading accuracy, 86 um, marking, stand tackles 91 and 85 stand tackling, uh, slide tackling, sorry. So I'm very excited to try him out. Uh, this is going to be a weird video. He might be completely trash up front. Who knows? But I'm going to tell you the truth. And if, even if he is bad, he can be an amazing center, central defensive mid. So even if I make this video and I say he's not a, good, a great striker, you could literally buy this guy and he would be one of the best midfielders you can have in the Premier League team. Anyway, let's see how he plays. Here we go. All right, first team we face, this guy's got the Felipe Anderson, red card, um, David Luiz, Varane. A couple of really decent cards. I think that central mid, he's, he's really fast, right? I can't remember his name, but I remember he had like a deadly shot on him and he was very fast. Unless I am thinking of someone else. Oh, I thought that was going to be in, guys. I think he took that with his weak foot. So I'm not sure. Having... What, what foot is Van Dyke? Is he right footed? I haven't really, you know, shot with a <laughs> center back before. Holy crap. To be fair, he doesn't deserve to go through like that. I had so many players on him. And somehow he just finds a way to go through like that. It's just really annoying. It's Van Dyke time, boys. Is he going to be strong enough? Is he the new Messi, boys? Oh my days, I thought that was it. <laughs> you don't expect to see Van Dyke doing stuff like that. That, that looks so weird. Just dribbling like that with someone that is so huge. He's 
Is he offside or is he onside? Ah, oh, he's onside. Didn't expect um, the ball to go through there. Got lucky with it, to be honest. Pass it to Van Dyke. Oh no! That is his finishing, guys. His finishing is just so bad. Look at that. We were able to cut through the defense there. But his finishing, it just it really lets him down. If he had a bit higher finishing, like more than 75 at least, he would have at least scored that. But, oh man. He's a really good player. Just the finishing. Like, he could actually be a striker. He didn't feel that stiff either. The only problem is that finishing is so... That's why I feel like he's going to be an amazing CDM. Oh, man. We're getting some really nice opportunities with this Van Dyke, guys, but... Oh, maybe we could score a header with him, you know? If he gets into the area. He's not what matter is, though. Can we win that? Can we win that? Van Dyke is really tall! Oh, he actually wins it! He actually wins it, guys, but there was already someone waiting on the line. Which was quite unfortunate. Keeper should have that. We're actually struggling here. Up front, we're doing okay, you know. We're playing some pretty good FIFA. But, if only he had a bit, a bit better finishing. Oh. Oh, he's so strong, guys. But... Can we get that ball? No, we can't. He is so strong, so he's probably one of the strongest players I've used. Um, I don't feel like I should rate this card, because no one's going to really take this card seriously as a striker, right? Uh, what's the point of putting a score towards the end? Try this guy out as a central defensive mid. I would literally keep this guy as a central mid in my uh, Premier League team. But he does cost quite a lot, and there's a team of season 1 coming, so if you do really want the Van Dyke as your centre-back, you can't really use this one. So, it's up to you guys, it's up to you, but I'm really having fun with him, so can we get the goal here? No, we can't. Let's pass it back. Pass it. Why is my Rudiger not passing it? Literally, referee killed him. My, my Rudiger, I told him to pass it like eight times, and for some reason he kept trying to dribble. Anyway, Van Dyke does have good free kick accuracy, 83 free kick accuracy. Here we go, guys. I don't know about his curve, maybe that's too much power. Oh my days! Van Dyke! <laughs> what the hell was that? Look at this goal. Off the crossbar. Disgusting. That's probably my favorite or the best free kick I've ever scored in FIFA this year. And it comes from a center back. Well, it's, he's not a center back, he's a striker. You know what I mean. Oh, it's over guys. What a match that was. Holy crap. We had so many good opportunities to score a goal with Van Dyke, and we, it comes from a free kick. Did anyone that clicked on this video expect, <laughs> expect me to score a free kick with Van Dyke? This is actually insane. The only goal to get us back into the game is the goal with Van Dyke from a free kick. You know what? I want to look at that free kick again because that was insane. Like... Could the goalkeeper even save that? Let's just see. Let's take a look at this. Let's switch the camera. Is this a good camera angle? Let's go. Let's look at that blast. It had so much power on it, guys. And then the keeper. Oh my days. Maybe Can the keeper? He had to, like, punch it out. But it had so much power that the keeper just didn't even see it coming. So... Let's get into the second match. This Van Dyke card is so, so fun to use. But, obviously in a competitive match, don't bother. Alright, next team we face. This guy's got the... Um, not the, the craziest of teams. At this stage of FIFA, I expect a lot more... Um, I expect to see no more gold cards, right? Well, Van Dyke should win this header, right? Look at that. Just towers over everyone. Crazy. The heading that this guy has is literally crazy. Oh, can we cross into Van Dyke? Oh, it's going to Chitorito though. And we get the lead right at the beginning of the match. So, not bad. Not bad. That whole counter-attack started with Van Dyke um, powering it down to, I think, the second striker. But that is one of the 
benefits that you have in your squad. If you have someone that is that big up front with crazy heading stats, you could literally take the goal kick and aim at him to stop the counter attack. Or just to start the attack in general. It's Van Dyke! Oh no, he misses! Matter as well. Oh, that was a good goal from him. He worked that really well and uh, found space. So he kept drawing my defenders and it worked out for him. Look at that. We kept. Like, I thought he was going to pass it to the guy on the left. Doesn't do that. Gets a really nice shot off. So no complaints there. He worked for that goal. Oh, he's going to score this. This guy is actually really good. Off the kickoff. Look at that. Absolutely destroys me. Then again, it is a kickoff goal. So who knows? Holy crap. That was the clearance my player did. Oh, what? How did the keeper save that? We're able to get through onto goal. But because Van Dijk's finishing is so low, we're missing, again, some really good opportunities. Oh, how did Chicharito miss that? We're getting pretty unlucky, but dribbling with Van Dijk, he feels like a six foot four Messi. I don't know what it is about him, but there's some hidden stat that make players just a lot harder to tackle. Give it to Van Dijk. Van Dijk, finish it! No! How long is this uh, match? All right, so we do manage to lose 3-1, but hey guys, I have to admit, Van Dijk, with, if he had a bit more finishing, he would have scored so many more goals for me, um, like I said in the first match. In this match, we only were able to score with Hernandez, and who assisted him? Valencia. So Valencia assisted him with the cross. Guys, this Van Dijk feels very good. There's something about him that makes him a lot harder to tackle than like a normal striker. I don't know what it is, but he's so bulky and you can do fake shots with him. When you do fake shots with him, it's a lot harder to tackle him with a center back. That's what it seemed like to me. If you saw most of the clips inside the area, we fake shot it and we always threw on to go. It's just if he had a tiny bit more finishing. So scores headers did he score us any headers no he came very close i think one of them was saved but the, the amount of shots that were saved by keepers from van dyke uh we just got quite unlucky as well today so overall guys a very fun card to use as you guys saw from the free kick that was probably the least um yeah if i had to go through a checklist that was probably one of the bottom ones i would expect to score with van dyke a free kick so <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like button if you did. Van Dyke, a very good card, but I would definitely not use him as a striker. Move him down to a central mid, central defensive mid, and he will be a very, very good player in that position. Wins you probably every single, um, uh, like if you want him to win every air ball, he will do that. Like if your opponent's keeper is always going to hit out, he will win you every single one. I don't see, maybe a Hullet might beat him, I don't know. But other than that, probably win every um, aerial battle. And that's all there is to it, guys. Hit like button if you did. Uh, enjoy this video, and hopefully you guys have a very nice day.